Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to rig this character's face with the plugin joysticks and sliders and we're only going to use the joysticks uh, bit for now. So let's jump into After Effects where I have this character and it's made up uh, out of all these different elements. We have the body, which is this part, uh, left ear, right ear, his head, his hair, mouth, nose, his both of the, both of his eyes and his uh, eyebrows. Uh, we're going to lock the body for now because we won't be animating that. So what we're going to do is we'll we'll creating uh, a joystick which we can actually move around with our mouse and the f the head will follow that movement. Uh, so what we're going to do is first of all I'm going to create a null by going to layer new null object and I'm going to name this uh, face null. I'm going to parent all the, the facial elements, so the brows, the eyes, the mouth and the nose, to that null. Because um, the, 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 the face can move uh, in its entirely, it doesn't need to move individually. So what we're going to do is to I'm give these some other color, like yellow. And how joysticks and sliders works is that you need to create five keyframes. Uh, for the the extremes, so the, the endpoints of the of the animation. So let's I'll just jump in and I will see how this works. So let's open up our um, in this case position keyframes, and you can uh, use every keyframe, you every uh, parameter you want. You can do the scale, rotation, position, whatever. Um, now it's only we only need the rotation and position, I think. Um, first off, let's put the anchor point for the for the head uh, right here because we're going to use rotation on that um, so let's open position for all and create a, create on the first frame it's very important to create a keyframe and that's the end point so the the, the first frame should always be uh, the middle like staring right at you and the second keyframe it needs to go to the right the third keyframe to the left then up and then bottom um, and then joysticks and sliders can read out these key these keyframes and create a, jo uh, a joystick, and then you can you can use the plugin. Uh, so first we're going to uh, let's go to the head and also open uh, press Shift and R to also open the rotation. Put a keyframe there. And what we're going to do with the hair, we also need to animate the hair. Um, what I can do is right click it and create a shape uh, from it to make it a, a shape layer but uh, that actually really slows down joysticks and sliders so don't do that so what we're going to do now is i'm going to scale this up a bit and i'm going to duplicate the um, the head command d and put it above the hair and then give it a track mat an alpha mat <coughs> so now the hair uh, is in here and I can animate the position for that as well so let's open up all these keyframes by pressing U and then we're going to go uh, command uh, right arrow to move up one frame and we have this uh, tool here to paste origin and if I do that it will copy the the first uh, keyframes for, uh, for all the layers and paste them in there uh, and now we're going to move all our elements so what I want to do is First off, we're going to also uh, parent the face null and the uh, ear and the ear and the head and the hair to the head itself. So when I rotate the head, everything moves along with it. So on the first, uh, on the second frame, it needs to go to the right. So the null, the face null, can look to the right. And when you move your head, this ear kind of. And it moves in a bit and this one moves out a bit because it creates this fake 3d 3d effect as you can see and let's also move the move the hair a bit to the right so now it kind of looks like he's turning his head to the right but i also want to uh, tilt his head a bit so i'm going to the rotation and then turn it a bit like this so when it look when he looks to the right he does that so um, yeah, that's done. Then let's go to the next frame, by pressing Command uh, right arrow, and this one needs to be uh, it needs to be looking to the left. So again, we'll select these and go to Paste Origin, and it, this will copy the first frames in here, so we can st we can start off fresh. 
and then we're going to move this one to the left this one in a bit and this one out and the hair and we're going to rotate this yeah so that's kind of the same all right and then we go one frame further again again paste the origin and we're going to move the face up and the ears a bit down and the hair up as well so it looks like he's looking up yeah, maybe the face a bit more oh but no yeah uh, again for the last one go one frame further and paste origin and now it needs to look down so this means that the whole face can look down and the ears move a bit up um, and his head, hair can move down a bit just bear in mind that it doesn't uh, that it stays in the in the mask yeah something like that okay so now we have all these positions so that's the the normal position the base position right left up and down i think up yeah it's uh, it's okay so uh, we're done with that so we're going to select all these uh, elements and we're going to uh, create a joystick and we're going to yeah joystick control one that's okay give it a name and you go and then it creates this kind of this box with um this null inside it let's just change my solid so you can actually see it just like this and it has created this um, object and if i move it around the face follows that object so this is in the middle and then i go to the left and to the right and up and it kind of by using math it um, fills in the gaps within within these corners so this is like halfway left halfway up and then it uh, yeah that's it it looks kind of looks around um, and I can keyframe this I can animate this box so let's say it starts open position it starts over here and then it uh, looks to the to the right and it and I can copy this keyframe and paste it and then he looks to the left and I copy and paste and he looks back again that looks awful all right of course easy ease way too fast yeah so you can play around with this and you can animate whatever however you uh, you would like um yeah that's basically it uh, for joysticks for the uh, an easy joystick uh, head rigging uh, setup and now i can of course go to the eyes and i can indiv individually um uh, so the, the keyframes have disappeared here so i can individually animate these elements so if i want the eyes to blink i just go to uh, scale and uncheck these and like this and then copy and paste those back give them an ease as well a bit faster yeah and then we have this um, his eyes blinking Ooh. and I can copy them paste them Now his eyes are blinking. Bling, bling. One last thing you can also do is, uh, let's say you want to change uh, something, something you don't like something. You can uh, select them all and go to unbind, uh, unbind this one, and it will it will uh, unbind them from your joystick. Yeah, and then you can open them up again. And let's say I don't like how this. I think the the face null needs to go a bit further up all right that's it and then select everything again and you can um, uh, bind them again and now your uh, face is now it's updated with um, 
with the, with the new uh, keyframe there. So you can all, always just unbind it, uh, add something or uh, change something or even add a whole new keyframe, a whole new, uh, like maybe you want to add a scale or something, you can do that and then bind it again and then you're good to go. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, please check out our Discord channel. We have a Camp Keyframe Discord server where we're trying to build a little community of uh, motion graphic enthusiasts. So uh, please check it out and I hope to see you on the next video. Cool, thanks, bye bye.